Okay, last video we started doing, uh, we, we just kind of did a visual representation of vectors, how they're orientated in the plane and how they combine. Okay, so now we're gonna actually throw some numbers on them. Okay, um, first thing I wanna do is show you, um, basically I've got, I've got uh, some notation here. Uh, here's vector V and then you've got, it kind of looks like a coordinate point. And this, essentially, this is where the vector will terminate, okay? Um, so if we just go up four and over three, or you know, over three and up four, and we draw our vector uh, from the origin, we'll, we'll end up with this vector V, okay? And then three and four, they're referred to as, you know, the horizontal component, Okay, we go over three, um, and then we're going to go um, four up, and that'll be the vertical component. Okay, and this is a, just an alternative notation form right here, just 3i plus 4j, and the i's and j's are just unit vectors, uh, just means one over to the right, and for j, it's just one, one, one up. Um, on the y-axis, and there's another 1k we'll get into when we get in 3D. So, but let me just draw three, four real quick. So, my horizontal, com or yeah, her horizontal is three. So I go over three, okay, and then my vertical is four. One, two, three, four, and this isn't going to be like perfect accurate, but let's just go ahead and draw all this. Okay, there's V. Now remember from the last video, V could have been anywhere out here. It could have been anywhere in space. It could have even been down here below or over or whatever. As long as it had, it was pointing the same direction as this vector and it had the same magnitude, okay, then everything would be fine. Okay, now we're gonna go and we're gonna look at W and its horizontal component is four. So we're gonna go over four, one, two, three, four, and we're gonna go up one, just one, okay? Okay, and we're going to call that W. All right, notice right out, right off the bat, if we went and connected these via triangle, uh, like like take vector V for instance. Okay, if if I just looked at the uh, vertical component and then the horizontal component, okay, and you know this is going to be three, this is four. Well, if I just use the Pythagorean theorem, I'm going to get this side, aren't I? I'm going to get a hypotenuse of the triangle. So essentially, we can call them the magnitudes really just you know based on the Pythagorean theorem, okay? Um, and that's going to tell us how long it is. So vector v, and there, here's the notation for that, okay? Vector v is going to be equal to. I trust you already know the Pythagorean theorem quite well or that, that's just 16, so it'll end up equaling square root of 25, which is five. Sometimes you might hear, uh, <laughs> that's my, my dog in the background, she's dreaming. <laughs> so sometimes you might see the double brackets, okay? And then likewise, let's just go ahead and we're also gonna do vector W. Vector W, that's just gonna be uh, 16 plus 1, so that'll just be square root of 17, and no simplification that we can do there. All right. Um, next thing I want to do is I want to take vector, I want to take vector v and w and add them together. Okay. Now remember from the last video, these things combine head to tail. Okay. So if I want to, if I want to go and add this, I'm gonna go head to tail. So I'm just gonna redraw it up here. I'm gonna go over four. That looks like it's about over four. Like I said, this doesn't have to be accurate. I'm just trying to, you know. So here is vector W, okay? Since this vector is the exact same magnitude and it's pointing the same direction as this, this vector, I can go ahead and call it vector W as well. Okay, and the rule follows through that I can still um, my, my resultant vector is going to go from the original point of my original vector to the terminal point of the vector that I just tacked on to everything. Okay, so this right here is going to be vector V plus W. Okay, that's right there. Okay, see how we did that? So, if we wanted to go 
and do this algebraically, we would want to add the horizontal components of each vec of the two vectors to the vertical components. So we would, I'm just going to base it off this, we would go 3 plus 4, and then we'd go 4 plus 1. Okay, and that's going to give us, what's that going to give us? 7, 5 equals V plus W. And if, if we did this right and we count if we count over and everything, it should go ahead and, and be about 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, yeah, it's about 5 units tall and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So yes, this new vector indeed terminates at 0.75. I don't know if you can see that up there. So now we, we went ahead and we showed that, yeah, this little thing we did in the last video, it's legit. Um, it's not a proof by any means of some of these things, uh, you know, and, and, and we, might, we may or may not go into some of those. But um, that's basically some stuff about magnitude and direction and for most of you it's probably just a review okay so uh, maybe in the next video we will do some examples of magnitude and direction um i don't know we might just skip on and try to get further in the calculus okay all right thanks for watching see you in the next video